We would be honored if you would join us. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. It is that time of week once again when we take a look at one of the figures that shaped my childhood, or from the line that shaped my childhood. This is this figure is one I wasn't lucky enough to have as a kid, but I'm lucky to have it now. Here's of course the Snow Trooper from Empire Strikes Back with his enormous, enormous weapon here. It is, uh, it is quite big. It is a sizable piece. I uh, know, I really, I've always been drawn to the Snow Troopers. I don't know what it is. It's just something, something cool about them, no pun intended. Or well, maybe a little bit of pun, okay. Just a little bit. Um, I don't know, there's something about them. The, uh, the vintage version was, uh, the vintage Kenner version was one of the first sort of Snow Troopers I had well, this is, sorry, the Snowtrooper from the Kenner line was one of the first Kenner figures that I had. Um, but I mean, that. besides that, like, Empire Strikes Back is still just so good. You see he's missing his backpack, um, which is just something I've, I've never had with this figure. Um, I did buy it loose, but I'm not too upset about that. I'll eventually, I'll eventually replace it and, and uh, you know, maybe get one out of, that's, you know, on the card still. But not a big deal. He still looks good on the shelf front, facing that way. You get a little bit of that sort of dirty weathering on him, on his shoulders there. In the front of the pants. Kind of, let's just sort of see that. I don't know, it looks like they've just sort of rubbed dirt on it. And he's got his uh, Nikes there. <laughs> I believe they wore sort of like moccasin boots. I remember look, looking into it a little bit some years ago when I was uh, researching the costume uh, to potentially join the 501st and, and I was going to buy a second-hand uh, Snow Trooper outfit from someone that was, you know, had been in the 501st and, uh, they, you know, they were sort of moving on from that sort of part of their life and... Yeah, I almost bought the suit, um, but for, for whatever reason, just didn't happen. But yeah, ever since then, I've kind of been attracted to the Snow Troopers. Um, yeah, aside from, so, it's been a long time between releases of Snow Troopers. Um, yeah, aside from the... Snow Trooper Commander that came out in the three and three quarter inch black series. The last rendition of the true Snow Trooper. I don't think there was any five POA ones through that sort of 2014 era. Um, I could be wrong. There may have been one in that era, but in terms of sort of you know almost fully articulated, fully detailed modern style figures, uh, 2007 30th anniversary collection, or would have been very early in the legacy line. I'm blanking on the exact details at the moment, but this is the guy. Um, yeah, it's, I dare say the Snow Troopers very, very due for a, you know, a redo. I think from the bottom, from sort of the waist up, this one's pretty damn good. Um, I've no doubt there would, you know, vast improvements to the sculpt and articulation these days. But um, I don't know, I personally still think, you know, from the waist up, this one still holds up. I think the soft goods are good. Uh, the legs, you know, definitely need reworking on this one. But he does have the backpack. And I'd probably prefer them not to use soft goods for a new one. But uh, yeah, this is when they were still going with the idea that clones were still part of the Imperial, Imperial Army. So yeah, I was, wasn't really, you know, totally into that idea. But yeah, so yeah, going back to 97, this is, this is the one. Troopers in the snow. 
It's funny, when they released that Snowtrooper Commander in the uh, three and three quarter inch black series back in 2014 or 13, um, I didn't even know that there was a difference. Obviously, I know now. <laughs> the uh, commander that comes and speaks to Veers in the cockpit of the AT on the AT-80 on Hoth is uh, the commander. Slightly different in shape. Um, just to give you a look, this was the commander. So yeah, he's less, less of that sort of ruffled up sort of mouth guard. Slightly more sort of uniform. But yeah, not a great deal of difference. But nonetheless, a very cool design. I do like these snow troopers. Like I said, I'm always drawn to the design. I do have a couple of other different versions of the snow trooper in the collection. Um, but yeah, I still like to look over at the power of the force line and see this guy standing there among some of the other sort of Hoth related figures that I have. Um, we might look at the rebel tr sort of troopers next week, if I if I remember. <laughs> we'll take a look at the. The, end, the Hoth Rebel Troopers, there's a couple of different variations of that one, so that'll be an interesting one to look at. Um, but yeah, long long overdue for a, for a redo, coming into the sort of modern vintage collection line. I'd love to see a, you know, a brand new updated Snow Trooper. I think most people would agree uh, when they get around to doing some more sort of Empire Strikes Back themed stuff. I'm sure they'll come full circle and get around to that again at some point. And tend to sort of rotate through the original trilogy and and themes and stuff as they as they sort of get the figures out. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I think it's definitely one for the line. People that want to collect all ninety six of the carded figures that represent you know the versions of of the vintage stuff. Uh, it'd be cool to see. But yeah, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Send out that in the comments below. Again, if I remember, we'll be looking at the uh, the Rebel Troopers next week. I think. I think they'd be interesting. They're they're a little bit different, but um, yeah, we might might stick with Hoth next week. So stay tuned for that. I hope you've enjoyed this little look at that. Power Force Snowtrooper. I, yeah, like I said, I do want to get another one to replace it, so we can have the uh, the backpack. But that day will come. All right, folks. Till next week. May the force be with you. We'll see you then.